Good morning, farmers. Here we are in a field of canola. A nice crop of canola. And two harvesters. Because it's time to get back to testing. Uh, now with a full release out, I figured I might get back into doing some more testing. Uh, probably because all the tests I did back in the day, if you want to call it that, may not comply anymore. So, yeah, the big, the big thing that we found out in the full release is... You can now repair this harvester to get a 10% better yield. Uh, so does that make it equal to this one? So how do you find out? Well, you find a field like this that's ready to be harvested. And before you harvest it, you save the game. So what we're going to do is, I think we're going to start with the bison. Uh, uh, well, I shouldn't say the bison. Uh, we'll just call it the harvester. Um, we'll enter the harvester as is, as you get when you start the game, as after you do a couple quests. And uh, we'll harvest a field, and we'll see what the yield is. I got I got our handy dandy little trailer here, ready to rock and roll. Uh, it's not going to go anywhere. Just need to store it because this does not hold much. And then uh, once we harvest a field, we will reload the game right at this very point. So the field stats will be the same, and I'll show you the field stats right here. So you know, in case you think there's any trickery going on, there isn't. Why would I do that? Don't care. Uh, but maybe you do. So there are the field stats right there. And I picked this field just because, as you can see, it's almost one hectare in size. Um, should that really matter? I don't know. I mean, some people may dig into the math a little bit more, and you can. But there are the field stats. So, you know, I, I must just hop right on the, this harvester here. And man, has it been a while since I had a harvest with this thing. So, yeah, we got three har... Well, actually, I got... <laughs> I actually got four tests. Originally, I was just going to do the three tests, which is harvest with this... Uh, this harvester as you get it in game uh, then we're gonna repair it and harvest again and then we're gonna harvest with I, I don't know what you want to call it the modern the modern combine harvester if you will and then the other test I thought we do because it'd be a good test is after we harvest with the big modern tractor the other test that I want to do is uh, if you're new to the game, uh, which many of you probably are uh, console players, uh, you probably notice if you harvest at too fast of a speed, if you don't do it on cruise control, let's say you're harvesting too fast, you're going to lose crops. So what we're going to do on the final harvest, this is full already. Wow, I kind of forgot. Oh, wow, this is going to take me forever. Uh, it's been a while since I used this, thing, so I forgot how fast it fills up. Um, so yeah, the last harvest test we will do I'm um, hitting the wrong buttons because that's farming simulator, stupid. Uh, you need to hit um, F. F is the key that you need to hit. So the last uh, harvest we'll do is in the same big modern tractor, and I'll harvest, harvest as fast as I can. And we'll see if the yield is less. Now, if you've been here long enough, uh, you probably saw the tests I did pre-release. And we kind of found out harvesting at fast speeds, I actually got more of a yield than harvesting at slow speeds. So did they fix that in the full release? Uh, we're going to find out today. Uh, but man, this is going to take me forever harvesting with this thing. Um, I'm glad I did not pick a bigger field. That, that would I mean, I'm only getting like one row in before I'm full. So... Don't worry, you're not going to have to sit here and watch me harvest the entire field four times. I'll do some jump cuts and bring it back and we'll show. Um, this is winter canola, by the way, and the field is like at 100%. I mean, it's been plowed, cultivated, and has both stages of fertilization in it. So I could get a good yield off this field. That's why I bought the big trailer over. I'm still trying to get used to the... Uh, the new sounds, I shouldn't say new sounds, but the updated sounds for the vehicles, they all sound different depending on what they are. And they kind of sound like tractors a little bit in a way. Yeah, this is going to take me a while. Uh, longer than I thought, but you know what? The test must be done. And if you're just starting out, this is probably a test you can't do, because unless you've been playing even 24-7, I don't think you would have... You know, maybe you have the new combine at this point. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's only been a, it's only been a couple days, but there are some hardcore players out there that that probably uh, could do that, I suppose. But anyways, if you don't know, and I, and I really don't know because it's a full release, the stats and everything may come out different. But we are going to find out today. 
Um, I shouldn't be able to fill this trailer. This trailer right here is the biggest trailer in the game that I know of. I went around uh, at the full release to each store to make sure that there wasn't no, no new implements or anything like that. And I didn't see any. I didn't read any in the patch notes. So that is the biggest trailer. I do believe that holds 33,000 liters. And I think we should be okay. If I get more than 33,000 liters out this field. Wow. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't be expecting that. So, uh, I've emptied uh, twice now, right? Uh, yeah, so that's like maybe 2,500 liters I got in there, something like that. So, what I am going to do now is, y you can see I got a lot of, kind of a lot of work in the, ahead of me here. So, I'll bring it back when I'm near the end of harvesting with this thing, and we'll see what the yield is off the field. And then we'll bring the bison on over, and we'll repair it, and uh, we'll harvest again with this thing. Uh, the good thing is when I repair the harvester and the header, the header should uh, yield 10% better and the combine should hold 25% more. So that will help us out. But anyways, I will see you in a while and we'll see what the yield is off this field. I will be careful not to damage any crops or anything like that. Um, I'm an expert, so that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> uh, but if I do, yeah, we'll take that, take that consideration as well. But yeah, I'll just, let's get on with it. I'll see you in in a while. For, well, for you, it'd be like a flicker of the screen. For me, uh, yeah, it'll take a while. I can say this about the old harvester. I don't miss it that much. <laughs> Man, every row, it was like, hey, your, your combine's getting full. Um, good harvest, didn't damage any crops, didn't overfill, did not... Uh, miss loading into the trailer at all and I was getting kind of concerned I'm like wow I'm actually gonna I'm, I'm gonna fill the trailer um, I probably will with the next couple of harvests but that's not uh, not not the case here so we'll unload what we have in the combine there and get your pads and pens out if you want to keep along but I will update you as uh, we go along here anyways and at the end of the video so yeah 28,300 is what we got out the field. Um, all harvested, no crops left. Uh, it's all good. So 28,300. I better write that down because I'll forget myself. I'm telling you to write it down and I'm not doing so because we're going to have numbers in the face at the end here. So now what I'm going to do is reload the game. We'll take this uh, beautiful harvester up to the house, fix it, and uh, paint it a different color. Uh, so this harvester does hold 1,200 kilograms, and I didn't get to test this on the full release episode I put, put out a couple days ago, so I'm hoping that this holds 25% more, and the header, if I remember correctly, should, after being repaired, harvest 10% more, um, but that's what we're here to find out. So I'm going to reload the game, I'll drive the bison up to the, to the house, we'll repair it, fix it, and start over again. Well, we are now home. Pull right on up here. Come in here. Um, renew and repaint. Well, I don't want it that color. I think we may just want it like pure red because that seems fitting. Renew, repaint, boom. Um, I do believe the header is repaired as well. Your machine grain header, okay. Just want to make sure. And machine harvester doesn't say so. Both are repaired. Both are repainted. I mean, just, just doing that looks good. So, if the test comes out the way it should, I definitely recommend as soon as you get the harvester and the header to repair it. But uh, the only way we're going to find out is drive bomb back on down there and get back to harvesting. I will show you the field stats as to, you know... Keep on base that the field our stats are the same every time I start harvesting. Now, repairing it is not going to make your combine drive any faster. Oh, and the one thing I do want to show you. So, like, if you were to turn on the header, in case you haven't tried it yet. So, at fast speeds, is it going to tell me? Maybe not. Maybe are you going to tell me that if, I, if I'm harvesting too fast, I'm going to lose grain? Maybe i got to be in the field for that to happen. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, the field is right here. Not far to go. 
So, test one done. Three more to go. Now, this time, if everything comes out right, I should fill up the trailer. And probably what I'll do is I'll just show you when the trailer's full, and I think I'll just dump it on the ground because we're not here to really sell it. The grain, that is. So, if you look at the field stats, should be the same as the first time. Uh, Scarecrow in the field as well. By the way, in case you don't know, Scarecrows, if you place them any field that you own, Actually, uh, in pre-release, you can place them in any field. Um, but in fields that you harvest, you get 10% more of a yield. So there's our field stats, uh, all back to normal, or standard, if you will. So the one thing I do want to see is, let's see, no, header was down, we'll turn it on. Does this actually hold the 25% more grain in it than it did before? So if it did, it should hold almost like 1,500. And I think it's going to, which is good. So that, that's a that's a big plus right there, holding 25% more. It may not seem a lot. It's like, well, it's only from 1,200 to 1,500. But uh, on a field like this, yes. So it is going to hold. We're already at 1,200 liters. The other, before we repaired it, this would have been blinking. Or not blinking, but tell me my combine's almost full. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to just probably shy of 1500, but that's a lot better. Now, the thing is, I'm still going to fill up probably at the same rate as I did before. It's like, well, you only got the same on a field. Well, so there, you're moving too fast, you will lose some crops. So I got the header on in the field, quote unquote harvesting. So moving at fast speeds, the game tells you you're going to lose crop when you harvest. We're going to find out that later in the episode. Uh, but anyways, starting this process all over again. But like I was saying, you're probably you were probably thinking, but you only got the same distance in the field. Well, don't forget the header now is actually yielding 10% better than the old header. So I'm harvesting, I'm yielding more crop, but yet the combine will hold more. So it's a plus plus for you for you and your farm, anyways. You always want to harvest more, do you not? So same thing as before. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, I'll harvest this field. Probably take me the same length amount of time. Uh, but we do, ex I probably will bring you back before I finish because I assume I'm going to fill up that trailer. So I'll have to empty out the trailer. I just want to show you that we have a full trailer. I don't want you to come to the end. It's like, he's only got like 6,000 kilograms in the trailer. It all makes sense uh, near the end of harvesting this field. But uh, once again, I'll seek you in just a moment. Finally, just about done. And uh, no, I don't have to empty the trailer. So while I'm, I was harvesting, of course I had time to think like I always do. I was thinking, okay, so this header should increase the yield by 10%. Well, I can figure this math out in my head. So last harvest was 28,300, so I should get another 2,830 kilograms of canola off this field. And when I added to what the trailer can hold, I said, well, I should be able to fit all this into the trailer. So the question is, now that I'm now completely done harvesting, and it was another perfect harvest, if you will, I didn't run over any crops, did not, not overfill the combine, did not dump any crops on the ground, all that fun stuff. So, in theory, if you were to add just a 10% to the last harvest, I should come up just shy of 31,000 kilograms in this trailer. So we're all wondering, did we get the extra 10%? Um, what is actually the total? And 28,860. That does not seem like a 10% increase to me at all. At all. I mean, we got basically just 500 kilograms more, which is very, very little. So, yeah, I'm not sure about getting the extra 10%. Um, do I still recommend, if, I mean, if that's the case, you know, if that's, if that's the extra we're going to get, fine. But for $500, is it worth getting so the combine can hold 300 more kilograms? I would say so. Uh, it's just five hundred dollars, but that you know, you play the game the way you want to. If you don't feel like it's worth it, I mean, it is just five hundred dollars. Um, but yeah, we did not get the extra ten percent. I mean, I was expecting somewhere around thirty, you know, just shy of thirty-one thousand kilograms. 
So 28,860 is what we got. I need to write that down. 28,860. Uh, yeah, that's just, I, I, I don't know. That's just 560 kilograms more. Well, with that being uh, tested and done, um, time to reload the game. And when we re reload the game, we get to harvest with this little fella. Well, actually, that little fella. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that this is not going to... The header is wider, and this one holds... Uh, I almost said, oh, crap. But yeah, uh, 12,000? I, 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 I kind of forgot now. I think it's 12,000. Uh, best way to do it is, how about you just reload the game and we start harvesting? Well, there's the old combine back to its original state because, well, we re reloaded the game. Uh, there are the field stats once again. Scarecrow in the field. Those stats are the same. I'm, I'm, I'm not checking, but I'm just, I know they're the same. He says until someone finds a error in it, but it should be the same. Uh, anyways, can I jump over this? Can hitch this up. So halfway done with the test here. Um, so I'm trying to recall, I probably should have looked this up, but I think when I did this test months ago, I think this combine got somewhere around 17% more yield than the base harvester over there, somewhere in there. So I, I kind of expect to fill the trailer this time, he says, but you never know. You never know. Um, yeah, so there's already 15 kilograms. Yeah, so yeah, we're going to... The good th thing, this should be a lot quicker. One, because the header is wider. And two, I don't have to keep stopping and emptying out the combine. So it shouldn't take me as long. Um, not that it affects you any, because it's just a flicker of a screen and we're there. So, yeah, so when we do this test, we're going to... We got this test right here is going to help us with two tests, if you will. Uh, how much better is the new combine compared to the old one? And then we're going to see if harvesting at a faster speed, we should, in from what the game says, get less of a yield. Um, but in the test I did months ago, we got more. So I'll be interested to see what that is. And I'm sure you will be as well. Uh, yes, it's, it's kind of nice to get back into this harvester. I'm so used to this harvester now, I, I kind of forgot what it was like to harvest with a bison. There's a reason why I sold it, uh, and that was the reason why. <laughs> but it is nice to be able to actually get around the entire field with a header that's almost twice the width and not even have a full combine yet. But I shall bring you back when, I'm going to say when the trailer's full. I think this is going to fill the trailer. Uh, we'll probably have to dump the contents out somewhere and keep har on harvesting. So... Yeah, I'll just see you in just a little while, and we'll see how the new Combine fares against the old Combine. Well, first thing I will say now harvesting with the new Combine again, what a time saver. I have cleaned up this field <laughs> at a much faster pace. When I was on the Bison... I was actually getting messages that uh, I was extremely hungry, meaning because, you know, I, we're starting first thing in the morning and I'm going through quite a amount through the day without eating and I was extremely hungry. Haven't even got that message yet, so, yeah, I, mean, I can just tell also that we're just harvesting faster. Um, the other thing that is, uh, the trailer's full, so, yeah, uh, that's 32,000 liters. Excuse me, if I keep saying liters, I'm sorry, it's this farming simulator, you always say liters, now in Farmer's Dynasty it's kilograms. So, you know, we'll turn the header off because we don't need it on. So there is a full trailer. Um, I have, we'll just call it 3,100 kilograms in here uh, because I did spill a little bit trying to fill up this trailer exactly at 32,000. So probably 50 or 60 kilograms spilt on the floor. So 32,000 and so that's 35,100 liters, right? 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 Yeah. 35,100 liters. So we go from, we'll just say, almost 29,000 liters up to 35, excuse me, <laughs> kilograms. Uh, we go from, uh, we'll just say, uh, the previous harvest for the old combine, 29,000 kilograms up to 35.
5,100 kilograms. Uh, is it worth it to get the combine um, as soon as you can? Yes. Um, and the other thing, the reason why, like I said, it's a lot faster. I'll try to show you here if I can line this up right. Oh, I'm colliding with... You can see the header width difference. Okay, the collision on that is sticks out a lot farther than what you think here. See if I can get it. So it's not it's not fifty percent bigger, but probably like thirty three, you know, forty percent bigger. I mean, I'm not quite lined up there, but it it'll give you a rough idea what you're looking at. So a much wider header. Um, the combine holds more, so you don't have to stop as often to unload it. Uh, a lot of beneficiaries there and plus as we can see the harvest is a lot better um, but now that we know at harvesting at normal speeds 32,000 uh, okay so 35,100 kilograms um, we can always get the message in the field that uh, if you're going too fast you're going to lose crops from the harvest well you know time to do one more test uh, time to reload and just harvest as fast as I can so uh, see you in just a second. All right, and here we are once again. We all seen this scene before. Scarecrow in the field. Stats are the same. Uh, since I've reloaded the game a couple times for this test, I will say this: I love how fast the game loads up. I, this game's loading up in like seven seconds for me, so I love that. Um, so now the test is, uh, you know, it's going to rain. Let's just say it's going to rain in five minutes. I need to harvest this field, so we're going to go as fast as we can. Now, I'm not going to let you watch this whole thing because it's going to get annoying. Uh, what are you talking about? Well, we are going to get the symbol or the warning light coming on all the time saying you're harvesting way too fast. Yeah, you're moving too fast. So let's just keep going ding, ding, ding. Um, I might even lose some crop, not lose some crops, but go past some crops here and there. So... Yeah, cruising speed is what, 14 kilometers an hour, and now we're doing it at 31. So the only way I want to know exactly how we're doing here, I'll probably get a rough idea when I get like halfway through, but harvesting at this speed should not take me too long to finish this test at all. I mean, we're going more than twice the speed that is recommended. So... Uh, the question is, 35,000 kilograms, uh, are we going to be the same, lower, more? Uh, what's the case going to be? Uh, well, stick around and find out here in just a moment. Needless to say, this is not taking me long, and... Um, I think I kind of know the outcome already, uh, but we'll see the total here in a while. <laughs> and uh, with my little giggle there, maybe you can see where this is headed. Uh, yes, I know I'm moving too fast. I'm going to be losing some crops. <laughs> um, how are we doing? Yeah, okay. So, yeah, so as we're seeing in the test so far, um, the new harvester definitely outclasses the old harvester as you think it would. Uh, by quick numbers, uh, I d I'm not going to do the math on it, uh, you can uh, look into it more, but we're looking at a 20% better harvest mm -hmm. with the new harvester compared to the old one. Was there a difference repairing the old machinery, uh, the old bison? Um, other than the capacity, not really. The header didn't really give us the extra 10%. I, I guess I, maybe I don't understand what the, maybe they're saying or it's just not uh, said right in the, the patch notes. Uh, fully harvested here. Um, so yeah, just like before, uh, we got a full trailer and we ended up with what? 3,100 kilograms left in the combine. Well, harvesting at fast speed, I now have almost 5,000 kilograms left in the combine. So, once again, I got more crop harvesting faster than the cruising speed. And it telling me that I'm losing crop. Well, I gained crop. Uh, I gained 2,000 kilograms. And for canola, what does that mean for canola? That means on a one hectare size field. Uh, where, where, where am I here? Uh, I need to be here. Uh, so, canola almost sells 
on this particular day, $850 more. So you're talking an extra $1,700 um, on a one hectare size field here uh, by gaining extra. So, uh, yeah, uh, you will be losing some crops. Where am I losing them to? Into my combine? Because it seems like I got more that way. So, yeah, I mean, the test still seemed, the tests that I did a couple months ago seem to hold true to now, as in, yeah, the old combine does okay. Uh, the new combine is right around 20% better than the old combine. Harvesting at faster speed gives me more yield. And fixing and repairing the old combine and header does improve the capacity of the harvester. As for the header being more efficient, um, I mean, it, it was a bit better, but not as much as I read in the patch notes. They said 10% better. I, I didn't see that, so... I mean, it's still worth repairing the equipment, in my opinion, and at least being able to paint it so it doesn't at least look like this. I mean, yeah, I, yeah, I painted it red. You can paint it any color that you darn well please. It's your game. Do it because that's what you, and do it to have fun. That's what we play games for. So, in the meantime, um, if you feel like it and you have the new combine, I'm not going to do the test of harvesting fast with the old combine. I may not recommend doing that with the old combine because the thing is an like, old combine doesn't hold much so harvesting at a fast speed you're going to fill up so fast can you stop in time before your combine overfills and you lose crop and then you also yeah i don't know so that you know that's up to you <laughs> but uh there is the harvest test now I, I will do more tests if you guys got suggestions of tests you would like to see done and yet or you have questions on or whatever Leave comments below, and if someone else has already commented on the test you'd like to see d done, give them a thumbs up so I can see what you'd like to see tested. Um, but as for harvesting, uh, the test I did a couple months ago seems to still hold true. Yeah, the new combine is the way to go. Uh, I also recommend, if you're just starting out, this is what you save for. This is, should be the first piece of equip equipment that you buy. Not a, not a bigger tractor, um, not a bigger trailer, not a bigger plow. Uh, I mean, when you can get 20% more yield off your field and sell crops, that's the way to go, in my opinion. Uh, but that's going to do it for this test for today, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. Hopefully, it was informative and useful to you. Um, I appreciate you watching, as always. And I'll catch you next time in Farmer's Dynasty. But until then, have a good one.